well, here's a good uh, current one, if there ever was a current one, is Boris on his way out. Well, a new survey of voters indicates that the uh, various uh, blunders of the current government that are coming to light uh, could really hurt Boris and the Tories at the, at the ballot box. As for the famous Christmas party, it's one rule for the Conservatives and another for everyone else, said uh, Labour leader Keir Starmer. Ouch, uh, that hurts. <laughs> but many of his supporters take note of the fact that he has escaped difficulties of this sort many times before, and they're sure he will do so again. So let's look at both points of view. First of all, those who say, yes, he is. He is on his way out. Uh, there have been just too many cock-ups and screw-ups. Uh, there have been miscalculations, missteps, attempts to change the rules to protect one of their own. Um, a chap who <clears throat> violated the MP code of contact and then finally had to resign. Uh, the efforts to close down stories about the Christmas parties last year. And, and most recently, a fine for the Conservative Party over the financing of Mr. and Mrs. Johnson's renovation of their flat at number 10 Downing Street. Uh, on top of these current issues, there is widespread acceptance that the government and Boris badly mishandled the COVID problem, especially at the outset. And they are just now starting to catch up uh, with mass vaccinations, but it still looks very worrying. They just got started too late on this, and we have the worst death rate, apparently, uh, in Europe from COVID. There is now growing evidence that many people are less likely to adhere to the rules about COVID restrictions, given the revelations of the various Downing Street parties. If they don't think it's important, why should we? That's, that's pretty bad. Boris is also losing the parliamentary voting support of many of his own MPs. There's a major rebellion going on in the Commons about COVID regulations. A dozens of his backbenchers have already gone on record to say they'll vote against his plans. One MP tellingly said, we do not need a fairground. Downing Street has to be run like a military camp. I suppose the implication is that it certainly isn't. <laughs> uh, Tories do what they have to do. They dump Thatcher, they dump Theresa May, they'll dump Boris. Okay, what, what, what about those that say, uh, no, he is not, he is not on his way out? Well, it's a complicated process to begin with. It takes letters of no confidence, confidence from the Tory members of Parliament. Uh, then there's the lobbying one way or another, uh, who you're going to support, who you're not going to support. Then there's a vote of the Tory MPs. Then there's a selection of a successor. At, at worst, it takes a lot of time. And uh, time is something we don't have a lot of with this COVID problem. He still has his huge majority. He still has enormous power uh, as the leader of the government and as a political campaigner, and most of all, a, a likable celebrity. That's what he is. He's a celebrity. Today's circumstances are different. He's still seen as an asset. The cabinet has been selected for its loyalty, not necessarily its competence. The days of the fabled men in gray suits wielding the dagger have gone. And we have to admit that the sleaze that they're talking about now, that's been around for many years. It's nothing new. The David Mellor sex scandal of 1992, the Neil Hamilton episode ousted by anti-sleaze candidate Martin Bell. We're used to it. Uh, Boris is not unique, and therefore uh, it's not a sufficiently awful situation to justify his removal. And above all, above all, today's public cynicism about politics extends to all parties, not to just one. To many, sleaze and self-dealing is, I'm afraid, business as usual. So Boris will stay. He's nothing unique. Well, what's my take on all of this? As I see it, MPs care about only one thing, and that's getting reelected. So they'll look at Rishi and Liz Truss, his most likely successors, and decide which one, or Boris, will be best for them at the next election. 
That calculation will be uh, much influenced when the by-election takes place later this week on Thursday, I think, to replace Owen Patterson as MP for North Shropshire. A loss there could be a real problem. It would cause some real (laughs) soul-searching. And ironically, uh, Boris may even welcome the prospect of standing down. He he must be fed up with the criticism of his managerial skills. Uh, Publication of his memoirs could assuredly make him a lot of money. That, That must be an attractive proposition for someone who lives quite high like Boris does. So don't be surprised if we have a new prime minister in the coming months. Well, there you have it. Uh, Those are my views and those of the uh, (laughs) people on both sides of this big question. Uh, If you liked it, uh, give me a like, subscribe, comment, notify, and all of that, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.